Okay, I'm using my phone today because my camera's upstairs and I'm just sitting here opening this flu. Oh, there's the learner. They call them learners. <laughs> I guess because they could be anyone as long as you're a no learner. Stop. Leave it. No, leave it. Okay, so that's an example. Oh, that's a good boy! Yay! I know. Oh, I know that's a good boy. I've taught him when he's really good, he must give me some space, and then usually he gets a reward. So that's why you saw him backing up like that. Okay, so we're opening the Fluent Pet, which we ordered at Thanksgiving, didn't we? Yeah. <laughs> um, and it's been sitting wrapped in its many layers of plastic for the last six months. And this, I need to vlog this because one day we'll want to look back and see how far you've come. So it came with these two tiles and then these five word buttons. And so what you do, they call them hex tiles. Um, and sound buttons and then they have a basic really quick getting started as you can see they say they talk about um, your pet being a learner um, and modeling the buttons so you have to press the buttons these buttons basically record your voice so I was actually gonna get one out I like to make these difficult to get into. <laughs> I do with it. Um, so basically, these little buttons, gracious, really well wrapped. Um, these little buttons have batteries, which will remove the tab and will make them active. And then you take the button and you put a sticker on it. So they also have visual clues. So for example, um, if they want to play ball or if they want to maybe go outside or for a car ride, um, maybe this, this one means lay down. I'm not sure, but there's a whole, oh, they've got, I'm learning along with y'all. They've got words on the back of them, so it helps you. Like this one in the upper corner here is food. Okay. And like the next one over is water. And then this one is tug. We don't do tug in this house because it sets up winners and losers. And I don't like to train on winners and losers. Um, okay. La, la, la. All right, so I'm gonna set you up so that you can watch me put this together. Okay, so I've recorded the first button. I'm gonna do it again for you because for some reason my phone stopped recording. So in our, our house, we don't, so this, this sticker right here, right there, is for food. <laughs> Hopefully that'll show right side out. Uh, but we don't say food in this house. We say um, eat. It's time to eat. Do you want to eat? What about eating? Are you hungry? We might say hungry, um, but we don't say food. I'm sorry for the really bad lighting here too. I look like death warmed over, but um, this is more important. Okay, so instead of food, I'm gonna say, and he's gonna look also at this sticker, which is gonna go on this button, all right? So I'm gonna record it, I'm gonna say eat. Eat. Now I can hear it. Okay, so I'm happy with that. So I'm gonna do the rest and I'm gonna put you in fast forward and um, then we'll come back and look at all of them put together. <laughs>
Okay, so I have them all finished. I'm not sure which, um, actually, I think I'm gonna use both of these. Unfortunately, I can't use the black side. I have to use these stupid colors. <laughs> I'm gonna use them both because I want to spread the buttons out um, and they just fit together like a puzzle piece. I want to spread them out and then you take these areas here that have been pre-cut and you just take them out and you put your um, your button inside. Norman, what are you doing? I hear him thumping around up there. You put them in the um, pre-cut and you just stick them down in there like that. And then when you want to change them, you have this little finger hole here and you can just pop them out. Okay. So. <laughs> that's that's the Norman button. Okay, so there it's, you heard it snap, hopefully. Heard it snap. So I'm gonna put the Norman um, one in for sure. I'm gonna put the out. Outside? The outside button in. Yeah, here I'm coming. <laughs> Popping out one of these. And I'm gonna make them all go the same direction. They have this label um, line at the bottom so you know which is up and which is down so that we know everyone is looking at the same thing. Okay, there it goes that. All right, this one is, oh, let's see what this one is. This, I'm sorry, this one is. Topple is the name of his um, wobbly toy. Um, and then this one is? Norman. Yeah. Okay. So this one is? Outside. Okay. So I'm going to put that one in. I'm going to put it over here. They suggest that you start really simply. Um, and not start with the sort of the human development of language for children. Starts with who, doing, what, where. Okay. For example, mommy making dinner, hamburgers in the kitchen, like that. So, um, that's more complicated, so they, they, um, and then you also have social words and descriptors. They suggest you start out super basically, so I'm not going to arrange these in a way where he's putting together a sentence. I just want him to understand it for right now. So I'm going to start out actually doing the. And they call these tiles, sometimes call them the board because they form like a big board. Ugh. Okay. So, Norman. Okay, so I'm gonna put that one that way so that it's beginning to form a kind of a so, Norman. Topple. So, Norman wants topple. Um, and want is included in here, um, but we just, I don't know that we're going to get to that this month. So, I'm going to put Norman outside. So, Norman topple, Norman outside. Norman wants outside, Norman wants topple, like that. So, trying to form a kind of concept of language structure for him is the beginning goal.
outside, oh gosh, they make you, you have to record it back here. Outside. Outside. Okay. But when you put them in here, it's like this, the audio out is against the tile, so it's hard to get it in there just right. Actually, I think I did do a want. Want. Okay. So I'm going to put that one over here on the Norman board side. Because, you know, they say, they say food. We just don't say that in this house, so, um, like that. Every household is different. Every house, for the whole family, including the pets, the animals, really. Okay, so I'm gonna put that over here on the subject, sort of, the what tile. So this is, this we can consider the who tile, and this is the what tile. And then we'll add on to them around um, when he starts to learn more about it. Okay, so I'm gonna put this, actually I'm gonna put this over by the door because it's over by like food and the door. He'll probably try and eat it, but I'm gonna try and also keep it out of the way. So then the idea is to teach him that he not already knows his name is, but then he doesn't already know that he, if he presses outside, he knows that's what it means. Now see, he's investigating. Oh, Norman, good boy, that's good boy. So, I mean, that was a mistake, but I want him to learn that it's like, kind of like a fun toy, right? Are you gonna eat it? Tell them you're gonna eat it. Say, I'm gonna eat this. I'm gonna eat this. What do you think? No, don't eat. Oh, see, that's what we say in this house, right? We don't say food. What did that mean? Look at this. <laughs> still at not quite two years old. He still chases his tail like a puppy. He gets these wild hairs. Leave it. Leave it. Good boy. That's good boy. Good boy. Yeah, he has these like spasticness. He's a spastic boy. Say, I'm spaz. Say, I'm spaz. See, I'm spaz. No, no spaz? No, oh, he's giving me the stink eye. Okay, so that is the Fluent Pet all set up, right? The Fluent Pet. <laughs> Who says I'm not already fluent? <sighs> I know you're just the bad. If I know that this is bad. I know, I don't know what, who else knows? <laughs> Why do you do that? Who else knows why he does that? And then of course, this swimming shepherd. He's still doing this at, we think he's about 18 months old. Okay, so if Lou and Pet is set up, I'm hoping he'll leave it alone. 
I'm just super psyched that I finally was able to get that done for him. So we'll put the instructions away and we'll build more. We have to buy more buttons and tiles. Um, and no, leave it. More buttons and tiles and um, these buttons just come in these little boxes like this. So we have enough for right now for at least to get us through um, learning this um, exciting new, exciting new human, not human, English, English language this summer. Lord, I don't know why I even try. He's still too young to do almost everything. But anyway, so as I said, I'll keep this, put that over here and put that in the recycle. I'm so excited, y'all. This just, this came like in December. So um, I'm just excited to get through it. That's what, when you commit to like not going somewhere on a vacation, even if you're kind of doing a staycation, it just gives you that time in your house where you can say, I need to finish that. That's my issue. I don't have a problem starting stuff. I have a problem finishing stuff. <laughs> so anyway, um, all right, so the beginning of the fluent pen. We'll see where this goes. I'll keep you updated.